All right, hello everyone, and welcome back to Kingdom Come Deliverance. If you didn't see the first playthrough, my entire village is being burned and destroyed and I'm running away because I couldn't get into the castle. Uh, I also just watched my parents being murdered. I don't really know what I'm supposed to do from here, um, but we're going to find out. Oh god. Go to hell, you tatar beast! Hello? You guys better get the freak off her. That's not how I do that. Um <laughs> Crap. Drawn weapon might cause fear. Well, I'm hoping it causes fear right now because I'm trying to save a chick. I'm also hoping I remember how the combat works. Go to hell, you beast! Uh. Oh, you have a horse? Okay, that's cool. Fuck! Oh. How do I- Crap. What am I supposed to do there? I'm not leaving her! Can't tell if I'm just bad at game, or if um, that's not what I'm supposed to be doing. It also said I had a horse. So cool. Okay. <laughs> oh fuck. That's not good. That's not good. Why is there so many? What the freak? I'm so lost. You're just supposed to whistle at them to get their attention. And then I assume you run away on the fucking horse. Probably. I mean, that makes no sense. That. Oh, did they already? Oh! Wow, okay, they heard that from like a while away. Christ. I just need to get to the fucking horse. I know, I know, I know, I know. Ah! Yeah. Okay, we're just gonna like run. Okay. We did what we were supposed to do, I guess. Jesus Christ. Oh no, please not a horse race. I'm really bad at these. <laughs> My horse is not make happy with me. Oh, well. Yeah. Sorry, man. You don't really get a choice in this right now. I hope Talmberg's close, because right now I'm being fucking murdered. Right! Oh, thank god. <laughs> I'm gonna fucking die.
Someone give him a drink. And bring hot wine fucking whiskey. Bandages. Tell me, boy. Who are you? And where are you from? What in hell's name happened? I've come from Scalitz. They burned it to the ground. Slaughtered everyone. Who? Who burned it to the ground? A huge army. They attacked without warning. And, and they weren't Czechs or Germans either. Who then? I don't know. I've never seen armor like it or heard their language. Maybe Tartars? Tartars, you say? Yeah. Well, we'll deal with that later. First, let's have a look at that leg of yours. Grit your teeth, boy. I'm gonna pull that hair out. Oof. Oh, that would hurt. Like a lot. Easy. All done. You were lucky, lad. The arrow missed the bone. It only needed bandaging, and I've done that often enough before. War is a good teacher. Can you stand? There you go. As good as new. <laughs> Thanks, man. Thank Appreciate you. it. If you idlers nothing better to do, get back to work. You'll have to speak to Lord Divish. Can you manage? Yes. It's a cute pup. Sir, this is a survivor from. I heard Robard. Tell me, boy, what exactly happened? Did you see the insides of the attackers? And were there any more survivors? So, um, I don't know what army it was, but it was huge. There were dozens of banners flying on the hill above Scalitz. The ones who did the slaughtering spoke a, a strange language. They burned scallops to the ground. But a lot of people took refuge in the castle. I wasn't quick enough. And as I fled, they shouted from the battlements that I should come and warn you. The soldiers the boy didn't recognize. They could be those Cumans of Sigismunds. It said they came to Hungary from the east, and now they're the core of his army. Sacking Gutenberg. Must have given him a taste for stolen silver. Scalus is a small castle, sir. If Sigismund attacks, they can't hold. Indeed, Sir Robard. And our small garrison would be no help, even if we could risk sending them. Do you think we're next in line? Maybe. Most likely. What's your name, boy? I'm Henry, son of the Scalitz blacksmith. I know him. Did he make it inside the castle? No. I'm sorry. It's in God's hands now. No one else can help us. Anyway, thank you for risking your neck to warn us. Well, I was kind of dead if I didn't. Robard, take care of Henry. Make sure he gets something to eat and some rest. Yes, sir. And. Get all the people inside the gates. We have to prepare for the worst. That's very smart. Make all the necessary arrangements. As you command, sir. So what do I do next? Try and rescue... My village? Talk to Sir... Robard. Is this way? Hello, Sir Robard. You've done well, lad. I'm sorry for your loss. You must be all done in. Why don't you go to the kitchen and have a good meal? Sorrow is easier to bear on a full stomach. Will do. Oh, damn it, I'm hungry. I heard about 
They say he was a swordsman who moved to the countryside to make fortunes. Is this the kitchen? Why do I keep going blurry? Fine reputation. It's a great loss. Oh, okay. No, never mind. Found the kitchen. I'm assuming it keeps going blurry because I'm in like an immense amount of pain because, you know, arrow to the thigh. Ah, oh, milady. You're fortunate our good lady Stephanie of Talmberg has graced us with her presence. My lady, I'm honored. So this is our brave young man. Welcome, lad. Bojena here will take care of you. No doubt you're tired and hungry. <laughs> Indeed. How could he not be, poor soul? After everything he's been through, he must be as hungry as a bear, aren't you, young master? Here you are, then. Eat your fill. And a little wine to wash it down. Hell yeah. Thank you, my lady. <clears throat> when you're done, you can go and rest with the grooms in the outer bailey. No, that won't do, Sir Robard. After all he's been through, he deserves a proper bed. Let him sleep in a lodge in the courtyard. Certainly, my lady. Young Henry here is overwhelmed by your generosity. Oh, yes, yes. Thank you, my lady. May God reward you for your kindness. Eat up now. You're in capable hands, so I'll leave you to it. Good night. Good night. Good night, ma'am. When you've done, you can sleep in the bedchamber of the courtyard lodge. And don't forget to take off those filthy boots before getting into bed. I have a sense of decorum, young Henry. Oh, oh God. Uh, eat. Food. Yum. Lentil mash. Come on. Some bread rolls, some cheese. Eat all of the things. And like here you came from Scallops today. Take some more. It must have been terrible there. How did it happen? Um It was horrible. They torched Ravina on their way. It seemed like any other day. And then I saw thick smoke rising above the It's the only thing I'm of sure of. So. Soon Sigismund's army were finished there and came for us. The order to attack must have come even before the alarm bell rang. God preserve us! I ran to the castle for shelter with the others. Behind me I could hear the shouts of the attackers and the screams of the wounded. Then I turned and saw a father trying to save mother. They... they were both killed. The gate was closed by then. The men on the battlements were calling to me to run and warn you here. And with God's help, I made it. That's horrible. We were very fortunate to survive. And God bless you for warning us. I'll pray for you, lad. Thanks. Um, I'm just going to continue shoving food in my face real quick. That's okay. Oh, roast duck? Yum. Eating like a fucking king tonight. Oh, am I a bit sleepy? <sighs> Probably. Can I have some booze? No? Okay. Bet it is. Is this the door? Oh, lovely. Lovely. Is it this one? I assume it's this one. Ooh, that's such a pretty little clock. We'll sleep. We'll sleep till five in the morning. <laughs> oh, we'll sleep for an hour. Today the patrols will be doubled. Keep your eyes peeled. If you see anything out of the ordinary, report it immediately. Understood. Yes, sir. PTSD? Yes. You just can't sleep properly? Or? It is I, Henry. Forgive the intrusion. 
I didn't wake you, boy, did I? Uh, my lady, uh, um, no, no, not at all. But what brings you here at this hour? I thought you could do with a little wine. <laughs> what? It's just what you need to help you sleep. My lady, um, thank you. You really shouldn't. You could have sent a servant. I was going to, but to tell you the truth, I couldn't sleep either. I thought of you while saying my prayers. How awful it must have been for you. I came to offer you solace, to let you know you're not alone. Thank you. Thank you kindly. You're welcome. Now, Henry, huh? I know this is all very new and strange for you. <laughs> what the fuck but is I happening? I want you to feel at home here. You're not to worry about anything except getting better. God knows you've been through a terrible ordeal. I know what it is to be left alone in the world. Although your loss is much greater. Am I? But with God's help, the pain will ease in time. And it can help to talk about it. If you feel like it. I, I'm like... So beyond lost, by the way. Like, was that as sus as I felt like it was? Fuck it, I'll tell you the fucking story then. You might be right, my lady. I'll tell you what happened. It was terrible and unexpected. The day uh -huh. started just like any other. Uh -huh. Father sent me into town on some errands. I went and saw my sweetheart. I went to the tavern to buy ale for father. I know just so you know that I have a sweetheart. Room. My girl Bianca worked there. I courted her a while and we agreed to meet in the evening. But our meeting was never to happen. Oh dear boy. When I'd done all the errands, I headed back home. <laughs> I promised father I'd help him with his work and I was looking forward to it. He was Why am I a sitting there? Sir Radzik. Sir Radzik the sword came was looking. taking shape when Sir Radzik himself came to have a look at it. He praised father's work and said that with his smithing skills, he could easily make a living in Prague or Vienna. You don't say. But Sigismund's horde was already on the horizon, ready to attack the town. I saw smoke on the horizon from a village Sigismund pillaged on the way to our town, which was soon to meet the same fate. God have mercy. And then death descended on Scalitz. So I looked towards girl. the tavern and saw a group of humans chasing down my Bianca, murdering her for sport. There was nothing I could do to help her. You mustn't blame yourself. She's with the Lord now. I ran to the castle like our neighbours to take cover, but I didn't make it. I had to find another way to save myself. The men on the battlements called down to me to flee to Talmberg and warn me. I was lucky I knew a concealed path around the castle. Cummins with plundering the village? I wasn't safe yet. The Cumans were going from house to house below the castle, looting and then torching them. They encircled the castle, and it was clear they could spot me at any moment. May God punish them. Then I heard a scream. It was Teresa, the mill wench. She'd been caught by a gang of Cuman savages who planned to violate her. I had Sir Radzik's sword, and even though there were several of them and they were better armed, I had to try and save her. I wanted there to be at least one person I'd helped. And I succeeded, even though it almost cost me my life. After that, I stole a horse from them and rode off. Like a valiant knight. I'll never forget the horror. It will haunt me for the rest of my life. That's terrible. How could something like that happen? God alone knows why he lets such things happen. You poor boy. I understand your grief, but God is not to blame for the ills of this world. That is the work of Satan and those who do his bidding. Those who are corrupted by greed, envy, and pride. You must not lose faith, whatever life brings. Fate has not been merciful to me and my husband either. 
Although in comparison to the horrors you went through. I was young when I married my husband. It was my father's wish. Divish was a lot older than I, but a woman must bear her lot. Shortly after our marriage, before I even got a look at Talmberg, the castle was stormed and my husband was imprisoned. Really? My husband had some quarrel with Sir Havel Medek of Valdek, who decided to resolve it by force. He stormed the castle, burned down the village of Pribislavitz, and killed many of our men, even the old Chamberlain. He imprisoned my husband in the castle and put his own garrison there. That's awful. I was barely 18 years old, and all of a sudden, I was left alone with Sir Robert. We didn't know what to do. We went to Prague to appeal to the king and sought help from Divish's friends, but all to no avail. We tried for years, but it seemed I was destined to be left alone and my husband to rot in jail in his own castle. Years, you say? Seven oh. years. That's how long it took. That's a long time. Havel was condemned as an enemy of the crown. And even then, he refused to surrender the castle and release my husband. In the end, I raised the money to pay a ransom. And only then, by the grace of Lord Jesus, did I finally lay eyes on my husband once more. Seven years. And was Harville punished for it? Never. And after seven years, my husband returned to me an infirm old man. Sir Divish seems like a good, strong man. Well, certainly. Only he has many concerns. He had to rebuild Talmberg. After he was released, the king appointed him Burgrave of Prague Castle, and he was very busy. He had no time for me at all. But at least we were in the city, and there was something going on. And now, we're here. My lady, you're still young and beautiful. I don't think I like where this is going. Your best years are still ahead of you. Would that that were true, lad. Would it were true. But what am I doing bothering you with this? You have troubles enough of your own. I'll go and let you sleep. I enjoyed our little talk, Henry. Good night, and God bless. Good night, my lady. I don't know if that was really the most appropriate, but okay. I guess. PTSD. Jesus Christ. It's kind of fucked. Henry, <sighs> wake up. You don't want to miss this. <sighs> what is it? Misty's not. What's happening? Come to the battlements. One of our patrols reported a company heading here from Scallops. I know, at least I took my shoes off. Can I, do I need to put them back on? Take a torch from the table. Oh, fuck. Okay. This way? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Careful the work, but don't be daunted by their numbers. 
Heed my commands, and all will end well. Come in. What's up? What's going on? I don't know. It doesn't make sense. Why would Sigismund advance on Talmud and unite? Especially since he's lost the element of surprise after the raid on Scalas. Maybe it's not him. Then who is it? The scouts give his scent to Scarlet, the spy on Sigismund, said he'd set up camp and was getting ready to storm the castle. And so Radzig is an experienced soldier. He'd surely hold the castle for quite some time. It doesn't make sense. It does not make sense. What else does boy say? Not much of anything. Before they could get close enough, this huge storm started. And you were right. Sigismund has a hell of a lot of soldiers, including all manner of mercenaries. An army like that will support them. Well, anyway, we'll find out when they get here. Won't we? Aye, we will. I'll be with you. What's gonna happen? Oh, shh. Uh. Oh! Who goes there? Lucifer and all his minions! Who else, Robber? Sir Antig. What a relief. Is his lordship there with you? Yes, sir. He is right here. What are you doing up so late, Dimish? At your age, you need a good night's sleep. <laughs> well, Rantic, you didn't exactly pick the best time for an outing either. In a big hurry? It was a bit of a scramble, all right. Believe it or not, this Tempest is a godsend for me and my men. As my old granddad used to say, better a sore throat than a slit throat. I'd say your grandfather was a wise man. Your messenger told us what happened. Messenger? The lad you sent to warn us. He's alive? He made it to you? He's here with me. He only got away by the skin of his teeth, though. Thank God. A brave young man. But tell me, friend. How on earth did you manage to get away? Thank God for this tempest. When it began, Sigismund's Tatars crawled into their holes and left the storm in the castle for more clement weather. We were able to sneak out right under their noses. The Lord be praised. We wouldn't have stood a chance against them. Would you like to spend the night in Tumber? No, no. When Sigismund finds the castle empty tomorrow, he might come looking for us. We'd only be exposing you to danger. Without me and my men, he has no call to attack you. What will you do then? We'll march to Ratai. It's only a short way, and there we'll have a better chance of defense and enough room for all of these people. If Sigismund should come, better bend your knee, Divish. There's no point dying in a battle that's futile. You're right there. Is that boy still with you? I'm here, sir. I want my sword. Courage, lad. Could you imagine? That I can't deny. I am sorry about what happened. Would you care to join us? I'd like to, sir, but first I have to return to Scalitz. Are you mad? What do you want there? I can't leave my mother and father. I won't leave their corpses rotting in the street. I'll join you once I've taken care of them. Don't even think of going back there, you donkey. Are you tired of living? But sir! Quiet! I'm sorry about your father, but getting killed as well won't help him. Divish, make sure that lad doesn't budge from Talmberg until things quieten down. Not to worry, friend. Anyway, he's injured and needs to recover. I'll lock him up here as if he were Havel of Baldic. <laughs> I've seen you've grown a thick skin since your tribulation, sir. But thank you. We'll meet again when circumstances are more favorable. Farewell. Farewell, friend. And good fortune. Give my regards to Sir Hanish. I will. And good luck to you and your people, too. These are dark times. Move out! Men, tonight we'll have triple patrol. Sort out the watches between you as always. And if I catch anyone boozing, playing dice or slacking off, I'll personally break every bone in his body. I want you to keep a close eye on everything nearby. Sigismund will surely have sent spies, 
and likely men as well to follow the Scallet people now he knows they've fled. Keep your eyes peeled. Report everything to me at once. Understood? Yes, sir. Can what I help? You need? I could use an extra pair of eyes, and yours are keen. Will you keep watch of the battlements with my men? Is that a request or an order? I'd rather it was a request you answered yes to. Of course I'll help. I have to pay you back somehow after all you've done for me. Splendid. And don't worry. I'll tell the men to relieve you later. I'll be with you. I'll be with you. Um, so what am I doing? Just... Keeping watch. Going da 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 da. Hi. Wandering around like a stray sheep. Must be your first watch, eh? Uh-huh. I don't think anything much will be happening today. You can just lean against the wall and wait till morning. I'll show you what's what. I will. Thank you. Oh, you can like literally skip time. Okay. Awesome. Oh, there we go. Let's go! Let's go! Move it! Quick! Go! Go! What am I doing? What the fuck am I doing? Jinkies. I think something's happening. I don't think it's something good. Sigismund of Luxembourg has a rare talent for winning people over to his cause. You may be in for a surprise. I don't think he will set his heathen dogs on us today. Greetings, Lord of Tomberg. <laughs> That's the bastard who let the attack of Scullis and kill hey, my parents. Hey, calm down, man. Don't be an idiot. You don't want to end up like that. Oh, yet everyone killed. I am Sir Mark Bart von Aulitz. I come in the name of Sigismund of Luxembourg, King of Hungary and Croatia, who has resolved to strike against those who disrupt Concord in the land and to restore order in the name of his brother, King Wenceslaus IV. Restore order by burning and pillaging the king's estates. Greetings, Sir Mark Bart. The efforts of the king's brother to bring order to this chaotic land are undoubtedly noble. It seems to me, though, that he and his army have somewhat strayed. As Burgrave of Prague Castle, I am entirely beholden to the king. And here in Taunberg, divine peace reigned until your arrival. To what then do we owe the honor of your visit? Yesterday, His Majesty took action against the enemy of the kingdom, the Ratzik Kobila, who has been using the silver from the Skalitz mine to fund insurrection against the crown. Huh? Unfortunately, the insurgent escaped. Would you happen to know, noble sir, where he might be at this time? As far as I know, the Sir Ratzik of which you speak is the king's hetman at Skalitz. I find it hard to imagine that he would rebel against our king. Nevertheless, I can assure you that Sir Radzik is not at Talberg. He would be a fool indeed to flee from one castle, where he has little chance of defense, to another, where he has even less. Or do you take the view that my humble manner is any obstacle to your army? Am I to inform the king's end? That Zeratsi Kobila is not a Tamburg, and that he has your loyalty. Yes. Sir Radzig Kobila is not here, and I have no intention of getting embroiled in affairs from which I have nothing to gain. 
Very well, sir. As you wish. I will relay your words to the king in the hope he will be as well disposed as you seem to be. Those who have clean consciences and good will may find themselves well disposed even at moments like this, when there is little cause for joy. Farewell, sir. Auf Wiedersehen. Bye. Auf Wiedersehen. He's German? Is that something KJ says, right? And she's German. Ooh, best not attack, besties. Not that we could really do anything. To stop it. Thank God. My lord, you have my utmost admiration. A diplomatic leader is life. often a good one. It's a lot of men. It's a really big army. Bury your loved ones, talk to Saw Robot, and get a horse. Okay. I can do that. Hey, man. Good day to you. I have to get there. Sir Robot, I need to get to Scalitz. What would you do there, lad? Sigismund might have left, but the place will be swamped with robber barons, brigands, deserters, and other vermin. And anyway, your lord commanded you to stay here. I have to bury my parents. My parents died there, and I won't leave them to be ravaged by dogs. I have to bury them. Shit! Good God, Failed. Boy. Do you want to throw your life away for those who can never get theirs back? Do you think that's what they'd want? Forget it. You're right, but I'm still going to do it anyway. Why Why do you raid it? Why did Sigismund burn down Scalitz and then come here too? That's war for you, lad. Certain lords have resolved to take things into their own hands and eliminate anyone who doesn't share their view. Unfortunately, Sir Radzig is one of those. And what's more, he was sitting on a pile of silver that could help King Wenceslas's allies. Okay, that makes more sense. So what's he after? What just power? Gutenberg? Gutenberg? Well, I'm just a simple soldier. But the good lord gave me ears, and I've heard some things from Sir Divish and from those who fled from Sigismund's pillaging. Were there many? Indeed, but it was the Kutenberg mercenaries who came to see me, because I knew them from before. I see. Listen, lad, these are all games of the high aristocracy. In Prague, a cabal of nobles rebelled against King Wenceslas, wealthy aristocrats who took against our king for reasons of their own. There's no doubt Sigismund had his fingers in the whole affair, him and Wenceslas's cousin, Jobs, and that cabal helped him abduct the king. His name so is such a mouthful <laughs> every time. Why do Where's you think? I feel like it's got strategic position, maybe? I suppose. Because it has a strategic position and good fortifications, so it can be used as a base for raids, giving you control of the whole territory and good defences too, if, if you need them. <laughs> Not at all. King Charles, may God grant him eternal glory, built Prague into a proper royal city while King Wenceslas took a liking to Kutenberg. After Prague, it's the most important city in Bohemia, in the entire Holy Roman Empire. Huh. He who commands the Kutenberg silver is king. So Kutenberg sided with Wenceslas because he favored it. Now you're starting to understand. When Sigismund imprisoned Wenceslas and took control of Prague, the people of Kutenberg began to raise an army against him. So with the attack on Kutenberg, Sigismund killed two birds with one stone. He defeated Wenceslas's most powerful allies before they could stand against him and also gained immense wealth. Okay. I don't really give a crap about the Cumans, so in the dialogue there. Look, my goal right now is to leave the castle, so... Hey. Can I... God be with you. Can I... I need to get out of here. I need to get out of here. 
and I need a feather bed with a comely wench in it. But it looks like we'll both be disappointed. Sir Divish gave orders not to open the gate, and you especially are not to be let out. Okay, so I gotta be real sneaky with it. He gave me permission. Not any longer. I have vital information for Sir Radzig from Sir Divish's spies. The fate of the Scarlet's people depends on it. Sir Robard ordered me to fate leave immediately, so let me out quickly. A likely story. Fuck! Better clear off before I lose my temper. No, yeah, that's so true. Don't worry. Never mind. Don't worry. May the Lord watch over you. Yep, may the Lord watch over you too. Uh, okay, so we need to find a way out of here so we can go bear our parents. Can we... Simply jump off of here? No. I'm also... Uh. Ah! Well, you know what? That worked. How am I a prisoner? So rude. They're really not happy with me doing that. Can't believe the fact that they added that in though. You can literally just jump off the moat and then they go, hey, he jumped off the moat. That's not okay. Hi, this is a really cute little town. Do you guys have a horse I could pinch? I mean, just borrow. I'm not going to steal it. Promise. Oh, it's a camp? Is it like a refugee camp? Hey man, do you guys... This is gonna turn out so well. Really. Jesus Christ. I don't even have words, it's just devastating. Hello? Why would anyone do this? What did these poor souls ever do to them? Jesus Christ. What's that? Who's there? Well now, this one's come pouring out. Shit. Is there any more? That's what I fucking thought. Bitch. That's fucked. Jesus Christ. This is like actually heinous.
just want to go and bury, bury my parents' bodies. Holy shit, this is cool. How do I... How do I not pick? Okay, that's kind of difficult. But also kind of cool. Look, I, it's my village that I lived in and I watched everyone die, so I feel like I'm not as horrible of a person by looting all of it. Because it's like, well... I have a shit ton of PTSD now, so, yeah. I don't know if that really has sound logic, but it works in my head, at least. Is that another person looting shit? It so is. Hey, who's there? Excuse me? You're in the wrong place at the wrong time. So are you. Bitch. Yeah, I'm gonna mercy kill you. Maybe don't loot stuff next time. Oh god. Why did you do it to me, Father? Why? Why did you leave me? Forgive me. Forgive me for everything. Next time I won't run. I'll never run away again. His face. I'll find him. But first, I have to find this shovel and take care of you. I remember you told me you wanted to lie beside Mother. Here, under the linden tree. At least I can do that much for you. There's a dog. Get away, you must. Oh, I found a shovel. Get away, you beast. <gasps> What's going on? Miss Jack. What in God's name are you doing? What do you think I'm doing? Digging turnips? The beast just went for me. Isn't that mutt the butcher's? Isn't that body the butcher's? Yeah, that's him. What's that got to do with anything? Were you trying to loot the body, dickhead?
Obviously, the mutt's going to protect him. He's protecting his master. And you're looting corpses. Seems to me that dog knows exactly why he's going for you. You're picking dead men's pockets. What do you care what I'm doing? What are you doing? Definitely not the same thing. I'm burying my fucking parents. I'm going to bury my parents. So bury them and leave me be. No. Sorry, have I disturbed your looting? I've interrupted you robbing the dead. Is that why you're so ill-tempered? You bastard. As if I haven't been doing the exact same thing, but And like... what of it? The butcher has no more need of coin. And now that I think of it, your sword would do me quite nicely as well. Will you hand it over without a fuss, or do you want to end up like the butcher? The only way you'll touch this sword is when I shove it in your guts. Haha. <laughs> Fuck you, cunt. Well, this isn't the end, fucker! Can I not fucking attack him? Hello? Okay. Hey, bud. Really? Am I still looking for a shovel? No, never mind. Sorry if you dropped that. I just want to be friends with the dog, please. Can I? They very conveniently left most of the house standing. Can I give you some food and some love and affection? Please. Come up, Pat. Come on. Sorry. Damn it all. They're heavy. How am I going to do this? Do you need some help? Oh, fuck. Is that him? Yes. Can't you see the sword? Who are you? What do you want? Is Bishek? Who do you think we are? Franciscan brothers? <laughs> We're here to rob you of everything you've got. Especially that fine blade that's of no use to a peasant like you anyway. Banish the thought. It is my father's sword. Shit. You mean him? I don't think he's gonna be needing it. I mean, it makes sense now as to why I couldn't kill Zabek. Listen here, boy. You hand over that sword, I might just let you go. If not, you're in for a family reunion you really don't want. Leave me alone. 
I don't think I can win this. Shit. And this is a 1v1 in which in which case. Could have just cost you a few teeth. You got this, Henry. Oh shit, no, I am playing it. God fucking damn it. I was so happy to root for you from the sidelines so that I did not have to do this fight. <laughs> Fuck. I really hope this is one of those ones where it's like you're not supposed to win this fight, it's supposed to be really difficult, and then someone comes in and saves you. Or like the dog jumps up and goes, and then I can get it like right through his head. I don't think so. I don't think it's going to be one of those. Please? Maybe? I told you how it would end. You should have listened to me. No! This is nice work. The chief is going to like it. It's new, isn't it? Now, for the maiden bloodletting. Surely your father never would have imagined it would be your blood. I believe there's a word for such moments. It's called you're talking too much, Dick. Just the fucking do it. Certainly know. Well, I'm just a common killer. Did you help make it? No doubt you did. Such miserable luck. To die by the sword you helped forge. Hey, go fuckers! Is that Teresa? <laughs> the games are over.
Jesus Christ. Hello? Fuck! What is happening? I mean, I know this is like some PTSD bullshit, but like... Do I wake up and I've just been like accidentally some beating milk? the shit out of someone? It's like actually a beautiful cinematography there. Uh, it's just gorgeous. Henry! There's work to be done. Wake up, Henry. It's past sunrise. Henry, can you hear me? Get up, Henry. Wake up. It's a new day. Henry, can you hear me? Hallelujah. I thought you'd never wake. Were you having a nightmare? Something like that. Uh, Teresa? Hmm. I just have a fever. Uncle won't be pleased, but you'll have to stay in bed. Okay. Where am I? In Scalitz? We're at my uncle's mill in Rattay. I didn't know where else to go. What happened? You don't do you remember think? anything? I suppose that's not surprising. I found you in Scalitz after those bandits attacked you. I thought they'd done for you. But you were still breathing. Why in heaven's name did you go back there? It was madness. You slaughtered everyone who didn't run. My parents, I... I wanted to bury them. I had to... Don't worry. I took care of it. Thank you. Any good Christian would have done the same. Now sleep. You need your strength back. You delirious days later. You're awake. Good morning. <laughs> it's near midnight. You've slept all day. Oh. <laughs> oh, I feel like a horse fell on me. The beating you took was worse. But at least the fever's broken. How did you find me? How did you manage to save me? You were lucky. I was in Scalitz and I saw Zbyshek and his thugs. I tried to distract them, but it would have been no use if those soldiers from Tamburg hadn't arrived. They were searching for you and scattered the bandits. They were looking for me? Searching for me? Yes. Lord Divish sent them, led by Captain Robard. So tell me, why is a lord of such high standing interested in a blacksmith? So Divish promised Sir Radic he'd look after me, but as for why they should care, I've no idea. Probably something to do with my dad. Um, I'm tired. Oh, I'm exhausted. I'm not surprised. I'll bring you water and something to eat. In the meantime, rest. You're still very weak. And even later. Good morning to you. How's the invalid today? <laughs> Ugh, I haven't Jesus. Of this since they lashed me to the wheel and quartered me on the town square. Got your sense of humour back. You must be better. My uncle will be glad to hear it. I had a job persuading him to let me bring you here. If he'd lain around much longer, he really would have dumped you on the town square. You can stay until you find somewhere else to live. 
but my uncle will want payment for taking you in and caring for you. Fair enough. I've been lying here long enough. Uncle will be pleased he's one mouth less to feed. But are you truly well enough? Well enough to do what has to be done. Where can I find Sir Radzig? He's in the lower castle in Perkstein. He's a guest of Sir Hannes of Leiper. But someone like you can't just walk up bold as you please and demand an audience. I know, Sir Radzig. And I didn't bring him his sword as I was supposed to. I must see him. If you insist. But you need to speak to my uncle first. You've been in your sick bed for over a fortnight while he paid the apothecary to tend to you. And for medicine. That's a good deal of a coin you owe him. I've been lying here two weeks. My God. Better a fortnight in bed than an eternity in the grave. If it weren't for my uncle, you wouldn't be here at all. I owe my life. I owe By you, you my, my life. life. And I'll repay my debt. You have my word. All right. But before you go to town, you should eat something. You're still weak. There's food on the table for you. I'm gonna save there. Um, I have no savior schnapps? Where is all my shit? I need to save. Where is my stuff? Is it in the trunk? Was that all my stuff? That was all my stuff. I'm gonna save. There we go. Game saved. We're gonna end it there. I think we got a good chunk of stuff done then. Um, so thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know if you want me to continue playing this. I'm actually really enjoying it. It's kind of like very very beautiful and well done and the story is amazing and i yes very much love it so thank you guys for encouraging me to continue playing it because it's so well worth it um but thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you guys in the next one take care of yourselves bye